Hello everyone, it's Nathan. Uh, I haven't done a vlog from the field for too long. I'm sorry about that. We've been, I've been waiting for it to rain to do it on a rainy day, but we just can't buy a rainy day. So, uh, but I'm out here scouting a uh, one of our earlier soybean fields uh, for some early season weed pressure. And um, so far, so good. I, I don't find, uh, really anything and so that's that's good uh, it's it's holding on and if it rains we'll have to check back here and make sure there's not weeds coming you can see we have some volunteer corn that we might have to try to uh, clean up uh, at some point um, but we'll we'll wait for now and um, we've gotten a lot of questions on uh, why we uh, drill our beans instead of plant them and uh, one of the main reasons is uh, for help with uh, weed control um, we believe doing the narrow rows um, we have a better chance of getting a canopy um, and getting a canopy earlier and once you get um, the ground all covered uh, it's a lot less likely that weeds especially uh, pigweeds are going to come and that's what here in our part of Kansas we really have uh, trouble with pigweeds and um, so uh, we like to we're going to try to get as covered as soon as possible and you can see the fields greening up and there's um, not as much space between the plants uh, you still don't, you don't get quite as pretty of a stand as you do with planting uh, but we just think that it covers the ground sooner and, uh, so that's why we do that and it's probably like half and half or one third people drill, two-thirds people plant around here. It, it kind of depends on everyone's situation, um, what equipment they have, and um, if it's available, um, you know, with planting other things or drilling other things. And um, so, but anyways, this is the way we do it, and um, we're pleased with our stand on these early fields we did. Um, and uh, on our more upland ground, we like to wait uh, to plant till um, kind of right around the first of June and um, so those fields are still kind of coming up and this year um, we got very few rains but we got enough to get these up um, and we were planting into moisture on them more upland but um, we're hoping they come up all right there they're popping out but we won't know exactly what the stand count is you know until um, they're they're up more um, but but we wait um, a little later because the upland beans are more likely to run out of moisture um, in the in July and August and so we don't want them to be real huge we want them to kind of be smaller and hold on and then catch a late rain and fill fill well because that's more important than getting a lot of height so it's just a little different um, here where we have pretty hot and dry summers and um, but this year we're we're going to be relying on summer rains because we haven't got much here in the spring we didn't get much in the winter um, so we've been uh, pretty concerned about that um, but there's not much you can do uh, when you're a dry land farmer in, in uh, central Kansas and um, with you know uh, so that's kind of how it goes and and we're waiting and praying for rain and um, you know controlling the things we can't control in the meantime um, we're in the, the middle of wheat harvest, so I'm about to go service the combines and um, keep keep going away on the cutting wheat. And um, I hope to do another one of these um, in the wheat field and uh, just talking about uh, double crop. We've been getting some questions about that too and uh, kind of what our plan is this year with the dry weather. But hope you enjoyed this one. As you can see, our, our beans are popping up and um, our... Milo is popping up out of the ground, um, and uh, the earlier Milo is really uh, taking off, and so that's good to see. Um, good stands, good uh, coming up, but we're just gonna. Uh, we say it all the time on our page. We're oh, we're waiting for rain, and um, but that's kind of how farming goes. Is is rain is what everything uh, kind of depends on. You're either having too much rain and watch, watching it uh, run away, or or you don't have enough, and so. Uh, but it'll come back around sometime and we'll just keep going in the meantime so all right thanks for watching